I've got my Avengers shirt and my 90s flannel, and I brought Carol Danvers herself, Captain Marvel, and we're about to see an advanced screening to hear what the audience really thinks. Yeah, it was a really good movie. I loved it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. It was actually fantastic. I couldn't believe the uh, actual computer graphics. They're top notch um, on the second level with Aquaman. Uh, total different level, total different planet. Excellent, excellent movie. Awesome, awesome. Looking forward to the next one. So, I am Captain Marvel. Very awesome, good. thank yes. you. Recommended. Very recommended, definitely recommended. No. <laughs> I loved it, dude. Good Marvel movie. Uh, it was very marvelous. Yeah, we love it. Yeah, really great. <laughs> it was a good, good movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was very entertaining. Um, it's a lot better than I thought. You know, the actual reviews. The, you don't listen to them. It's a good movie. It was good. Yeah, it's a nice setup to yeah, Endgame. It was good. It was good. I'm ready for Endgame. Bring on Endgame. Yeah. It was amazing. He didn't think he would like to. He'd want to see this movie, and I dragged him to see this, and. That's one of the best movies I've seen so yeah. far out of Marvel. Have you seen them all? Yes. yes, we've seen every one yeah, of them. The best of all. Well, yeah, one of the best. Okay. Right, top three. Yeah. yeah. This is great. By far the greatest. I'm waiting for the next one in game. They're all together and having a fun time, and everybody in the theater had a fun time. So it was, it was great. Looking forward to more Avengers and more Marvel movies. Awesome. Can't wait to see it again. And looking forward for the new Avengers. Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah. We're not... Usual Marvel. Uh, well, you no, know, that's followers. not true. We saw Iron Man. And so how did it compare to the ones you've seen? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'd agree. Uh, out of ten, I'd say about a seven plus. Yeah. yeah. I, I would like to see less uh, CGI and more plot. You know, I loved having a female lead, like empowering, great with the daughter to know that like women in media are coming out so strong. So we loved it. Everything about it, I enjoyed going through it. Everything. Um, I love the nostalgia, the '90s nostalgia, the music. Yeah. I don't care if you're male, female. This is great for everybody. Very empowering for everybody. It was fantastic. What was cool about the they turned the origin story on its head. No spoilers, but just the way they did, they went about that was really nice. The CGI was great. Good set pieces. Um, overall, like if I have a, if I had a daughter, I would take her to see this. I think it's really great for them. It was fantastic. Yes, it was, it was just fantastic. They put it all together real well. Nothing to be upset about. Yeah. 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 Everybody should watch it. Lit. It was lit. You like it? Hell yeah. yeah. She was bad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool, actually. Just so pretty. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, was really good. Wow! The audience loves it. I gotta hear what Captain Marvel thinks. This is Katie. First of all, amazing cosplay, Katie. You obviously are a fan of Captain Marvel. Did it hold up to your expectations? Yes, 100%. Like, hearing online people's like, reviews, like the whole Rotten Tomatoes thing, people were giving it really low standards, but after seeing it, like, up here. They've got her humor down definitely because she makes a lot of like jokes and references in like the comics and I think they got her down because she had wittiness in her sarcasm which I liked a lot. See that was one problem I had of it. I feel like every Avenger is sarcastic and it's like how many more sarcastic characters can we have in this universe? Like seeing them all even in, in, in uh, Infinity War and Doctor Strange and Tony Stark and then Peter Quill and they're all just like back and forth, quipping, quipping, quipping. I, w I wish she had done something else, weirdly, but it, it, it seems like she's another quipper. Am I, or do I see that correctly? Yeah, I, mean, I think so, but I mean, personally, I enjoy it. I like that kind of stuff, so I mean, I think it was great. There's a lot of quipping in the movie. I love Ben Mendelsohn, who plays the bad guy, and uh, Nick Fury. Samuel Jackson is really fun to watch de-aged, and Goose the Cat definitely steals a lot of the scenes in the movie. People have been talking about that, but Goose the Cat. Who was your favorite character aside from Captain Marvel? Nick because I love how like his more um, energy that he gave off in this movie because more he's more serious and stuff in all the other Marvel movies but this one he's more laid back and kind of like, fun and also because he was still new to the whole idea of extraterrestrials and all that stuff he's just kind of like whoa oh my gosh and then his but I don't want to spoil anything but no spoilers okay yeah I don't just the, his whole like personality I just love because he was all so starstruck about everything and so you like see him learn a lot about it yeah, with it that's yeah. what I love because just seeing him kind of like okay this is where he started and just and then kind of reflecting back on all his other Marvel stuff um, what he's done for them I'm just like wow this is 
Yeah, these movies are doing a really good job keeping the through line going. And, and I think the best example of, I've, I've heard it compared to, but the Marvel movies are becoming more of a TV show. It's like every movie is an episode of a season where you're just continuing the story. And I think this does a really good job setting things up. I will say if I compare this movie to other movies in the MCU, it's not like the best. It's good. But I do feel like I'm just getting... It's not even about Captain Marvel herself, but there's a lot of the same beats I'm starting to see, which I do have to admit, like from a, as a Marvel fan, I'm starting to be like, all right, well, I've seen that twist before, I've seen a little bit of these action sequences before, but I do think they did a good job by changing the timeline of the origin story. I think they do a good job by setting in the 90s. I think they had a lot of really fun supporting characters. There's a lot of little Easter eggs and throwbacks that kept me engaged. And I think Brie Larson surprised me. There's a lot of criticism about her, which I think is unfair, of like, oh, she's not smiling, she's so boring, but it's totally the character. The character is written that way because she has no idea who she is and it totally works and then as she learns who she is you see her open up and you see her learn about herself and I'm excited to learn more do you, do you feel the same way yeah I agree I mean I saw too on the internet all the people saying oh why does she smile she needs to smile but you know once you see the movie like okay yeah I get it I know why she's like that and then more of her quirkiness that comes out and that's what like, I love about it yeah, she's a fun character. I'm excited at where it goes. I think she's a, I'm a little worried because she's so powerful. It's like introducing Superman where it's like he, she can solve everything. She just can literally, she literally can fly through a spaceship and shut it down. So it'll be interesting to see how Marvel handles that in a way because, you know, Vision is sort of that way. I mean, there's a few heroes now that are getting more and more powerful, I guess. Um, but, you know, we clearly need someone to beat Thanos and she's clearly up to the task there. Yeah. I also think like, I mean, yeah, she could just instantly, boom, like destroy something or someone. But, you know, she just like uh, for and kind of Infinity War reference, I think they've all watched it. Like how Wanda, she is super powerful, but she still has emotion. And so does Captain Marvel because, you know, they're both still human. So they still have these emotions. So I feel like that's still going to hold them back. And the writers are going to keep to that. So they won't like go full on unless maybe they absolutely have to. But you know. Yeah, it's a good point. Plus, as if Endgame happens, we're going to fast forward a lot of years, so she'll hopefully come back fully powered. We'll see what she really has learned. Uh, overall, I think really exciting movie. The audiences here loved it. I think the Marvel fans are going to love it. There was an interesting older couple I interviewed in that you saw in the montage. They were like, "It's okay as a movie. Too much CGI. I can see that. This is definitely a movie for Marvel fans. It's definitely a really inspirational movie. I think for just for to have a woman female superhero finally lead the the charge is really great to see. I think she does a great job. She's going to be a great addition to the Avengers team. I'm excited to see where it goes. But honestly, it still feels a little bit like a teaser, like the trailers before Endgame, because I'm so jazzed about Endgame. I'm just like, can we get Endgame right now? Like, So it's hard to like love this movie, because I'm just like, you know, even like Alita, which I think people are weirdly trying to compare these two movies, like, it's not really over. The story needs to continue. All these movies sort of aren't single stories. They're like continuing epics. And the one I'm most excited for is Endgame. Do you or do you share that enthusiasm? Yeah, I mean, ever since the Infinity War came out, and every time I watch it, I still cry, but I've just been looking forward to counting down the days for it. But one thing I am looking forward to for Endgame is, and also I've seen a lot of debate on this uh, online with Captain Marvel, is if she's going to like have her binary form in Endgame or not. And I really want to see that. So hopefully maybe that you get a little sneak peek of it, or maybe they just go full on. I'm not sure, but I'm kind of looking forward to that. Yeah, lots to look forward to. Get excited. I definitely check out Captain Marvel. It's a great film to get ready for Endgame, and I think it's a great film in general that I think a lot of audiences are going to enjoy. Tell us what you thought in the comments below. Check it out this weekend. Have an awesome time, and be sure to subscribe and watch your other reviews. Thank you, Katie. Woohoo! Awesome outfit. Where can they find you? Uh, on my Instagram, Katie Bear Cosplay. So that's where my main platform is. But yeah, Katie Bear Cosplay. <laughs> Ooh, high five. Awesome work. Great to meet you. Great to see you guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye!